Radar scans suggest that there is a liquid body of water on Mars. What does this mean for Mars and are we really alone in the universe? Does life exist on Mars? To discuss this topic earlier today, we've interviewed somebody who has spent 25 years in the FBI and who's also a researcher and an author on the topic. But before we get to our show and interview, I'd like to ask all our viewers to subscribe to our channel down below because this is Zan Khan and we're live. Welcome to Zan Khan Live, where everything is discussed. Today, the topic of our show is the giant lake that has been discovered on Mars. Welcome to our show, John D'Souza. This is Zan Khan. It's always a pleasure to have you on our show. Zane, it's a pleasure to be here with you and your great audience. Thank you so much. I got uh, some good stuff for you guys today. John D'Souza, as there have been reports, there is a giant salty lake on Mars. Uh, we know that it has been discovered, but how was it discovered? Oh, sure. Uh, it's great news, uh, Zane. We have a uh, we have a, the discovery of a giant uh, body of water under the polar cap, the northern polar cap of Mars. And the way in which it was discovered was uh, by the European Space Agency, uh, which has their vehicle up there called the Mars Express spacecraft. And they want to uh, they want to make sure they're telling people exactly how this uh, this was detected beneath the surface of Mars. And it is about a kilometer, uh, kilometer and, and a half uh, beneath the surface. It is it is incredibly significant uh, because it is not it is not just ice. It is not uh, solid hydrogen or anything like that. It is actual flowing water it's like an underground an underground sort of ocean there and it is 12 miles or maybe that's 12 kilometers 12 kilometers across and so it's a very significant uh, body of water and uh, some people and it was collected through and they want to tell us all the technology that was used it was collected uh, through something called Marsis uh, the Mars advanced radar for subsurface and ionosphere sounding they were using rays they were using uh, sound waves to uh, bombard the surface and beneath the surface of Mars and they were able to come up with this sort of picture this representation of what was going on beneath the surface and it is it is an incredibly uh, significant find uh, for several reasons and uh, we are pretty confident on the data that has come back uh, from the European Space Agency on this because this data was from several it's been uh, collected from 2012 to about 2015 and they spent two years well until now they spent uh, analyzing the data to make sure it really was what they say it is John D'Souza, has this been the first time that a body of water has ever been discovered in our galaxy? Well, I would say yes, uh, as far as a flowing body of water. However, uh, in the past, uh, NASA in 2011, uh, right on Mars, uh, did report that they discovered uh, traces of residuals uh, that uh, uh, minerals that could only be formed in the presence of water uh, that happened in 2011 uh, again it happened in 2015 where the uh, NASA satellite or orbiting Mars found evidence of formerly flowing water along the surface of Mars in other words Mars has was a living planet in the past it had flowing water it had flowing uh, bodies of water and they found, and in 2011 and 2015, uh, uh, NASA was able to find those traces and report those traces, uh, sort of thing like uh, dry riverbeds, sort of thing. Uh, they were able to find the evidence that there had been flowing water 
on Mars previously. But this is the first time that an actual living body of water has been proven and shown. Uh, basically, as far as I can tell, oh, anywhere in the galaxy. Okay, so this indicates life on Mars? This may actually indicate life on Mars, at least at least at the microbe level. Uh, because as everyone knows, uh, water, actual flowing living water, is the, uh, is the matrix uh, from uh, for the formation of life and the evolution of life. So it's very possible, even though this body of water uh, is supposedly very salty, it's supposedly very salty, but still it could actually be the basis for micro microbes and microbial life, which is the matrix for you know, evolution of other forms. And of course, it also means that we could actually place life on Mars that would utilize the water that we have found on beneath the surface. How would we be able to be sure that there's life in that body of water? We'd have to take, in order to be sure that there's life in the body, in that particular body of water that is you know, two kilometers beneath the surface, uh, that is 12 miles, uh, 12 kilometers wide, uh, the only way to be sure that there is, let's say, microbial life, microbes that are alive in that water would be to take samples. That's, you'd have to take physical samples to actually prove it. And uh, I don't know if we're there yet, but uh, we're going to be, we've got so many vehicles between the European Space Agency, NASA, and the Mars rover. We have s vehicles uh, to the extent that I believe they will be able to get a sample of that water at some point soon. At some point soon. It's just it's just about two kilometers below the surface. Uh, so the, yeah, that would be that would be quite a quite a job. But we will be able to equip the Mars rover or or the European Space Agency vehicle uh, with uh, something that will drill down beneath the surface and take live samples of that water, and then that's the only time they'll be able to prove that microbial life at least is present on mars john let's get to the last question you're uh, you know an expert on the subject with all the news coming out of ufo sightings and you know lakes on mars where are we heading i think we're i think we're headed towards more announcements of more startling revelations concerning mars and what's really going on there. Uh, for instance, this particular announcement, the underground uh, body of water beneath the polar cap, uh, this, was, this was information European Space Agency had five years ago. And uh, supposedly they were, and yet they made the announcement now. It's like, the question is, why? Why is the announcement being made now? And the answer is uh, because very much like NASA, uh, they are, this is a political announcement. Uh, because they've realized that uh, uh, President Trump at the, the United States has uh, announced his space force. He has announced that he is going to Mars as well. Uh, so the, uh, the secret space program that is really manages all these agencies, uh, European Space Agency, NASA, the secret space program that I believe has people on Mars right now, uh, they now realize that they're going to have to start pushing out this information uh, through their through their subsidiaries of what's really happening on Mars. They're, and this time it's the underground lake. Uh, very soon, I believe they'll be announcing the forests that have been seen on Mars through people who are people who analyze that sort of thing. Uh, then they're going to announce something else that will be make it very conducive for us to have uh, human outposts on Mars and colonies on Mars. And then eventually it'll be, whoops, sorry, we, we have, a, we have a, a colony on Mars right now. And it's been there for a while, but we were waiting to let you know at the right moment. I think that's where we're headed, Zane. I think we're headed towards the announcements of what's really going on on Mars 
uh, information that they've been withholding from us uh, for, like we see right here, for years, the same way they, they held on to this information about the underground lake. That, that data is from 2013 to 2015. So we're just hearing about it now. So that's, that's my evidence for that, they, that the uh, European Space Agency and Mars, uh, sorry, and NASA as well, they hold on to this information of what's really going on. And then when it's politically expedient or, or when they're ordered to, that's when they give us the info and let us know what's happening. So I believe that there's a lot more going on at Mars right now that we will be finding out about very, very soon. Thank you so much, John D'Souza, for being on Zan Khan Live. It's always a pleasure having you. Thank you so much, Zane. It's great being with you and your audience. Thanks. This was John D'Souza. He has spent 25 years in the FBI and who's also an expert and a researcher on the topics of the paranormal and also extraterrestrials. But before we get to the end of our show, I'd like to ask all our viewers to subscribe to our channel down below for different interviews on more topics. Because this is Zan Khan and we're live.